And as you can see, somebody has joined us here on a short, uh, on a show courtside, Juan Carlos uh, Ferrero, Juan Carlos. I mean, what is going through your mind? You must be so proud what uh, Calitos has done. And uh, what are your emotions right now? Can you describe it? Uh, the emotions are... Is it like winning yourself, maybe? No, almost, almost. I mean... Yeah. Uh, when you're on the chair, you're, you know, suffering uh, so much more than if you We saw playing. that. So, uh, yeah, today was uh, one of those matches that uh, you are suffering all the time because, you know, I saw Carlos a little bit up and down, suffering too much, uh, not doing all the things that we've been talking uh, in, in the <laughs> locker room, but uh, but at the end, I don't know how he, he could resist uh, with the pr uh, physical problems that he had uh, and at the end win the trophy. Mm. Matt, please, no, you are the no, champion, no, no. man. So, are, have, are you finding out things about him that maybe you didn't know? Because it seems like I am. I'm like, wow, he doesn't have to play great, but he still figures out a way to do it, and he really, really wants to win. Because with the smiles, it's hard to say sometimes. Yeah. Of course he no. wants to win, but... No, no, absolutely, but... Uh... It seems to me that sometimes he wants to play too good. Yep. I mean, he doesn't need to play all the time that uh, incredible level that uh, he wants to. Uh, sometimes he needs to uh, slow down a little bit, uh, put two more, and then maybe go to the net to the drop shot, but then come back and stay more time at the top level mental. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. up and down a little bit, and uh, he creates opportunities for the others that maybe he doesn't need to. Team. And I was going to say, uh, you know, end of the third set, what were you most yeah. concerned about? He obviously has had some issues with his arm. He's had issues with the legs as well. What were you most worried about? I really don't know what happened in the third set because it seems to me that all was under control. But at the end, I think he got, uh, you know, too much tension on his legs, on, on, on his arm, and uh, thinking too much about winning the match. And if, like, if he needed to lose that set to start over and, you know, stay calm and start to play his real yeah. level. Yeah, yeah. Juanqui, you know I cannot be happier for you, of course, for Carlitos, but I remember here a few years ago, we played the Legends and you told me after that, no, I'm going to start working with one kid, Carlos Alcaraz. His potential is amazing. I think he can be number one. He can be, he can win majors. And I told you, but you're going to go through satellites, challengers, <laughs> other tournaments. And you said, yes, I want to help him to achieve that. And today you won another major with yeah, him. I mean, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it's amazing all the journey that uh, we've been through. Uh, it was nice to me. You know, it was a uh, different uh, goal that I maybe had with Sasha that I work, uh, you know, a long time ago. And uh, with Carlos, it was different because we start since the real beginning and uh, I had the opportunity to create something uh, from inside and uh, yeah as I told you he had the potential and he's showing he's showing it to me Juan Carlos before yeah. we let you go uh, you must be exhausted do you still have energy left for the no, party now no energy no no no, no but energy. for the party, party. Come, on. Fiesta. Fiesta. come on a little bit yeah we have to celebrate this, this a little bit with Spaniards absolutely. celebrate <laughs> they go hard congratulations we're well very done. proud well of done. you okay. thank you yeah. thank you so much thank you <laughs> thank you a big hug there for uh, Alex Correa of course